so you're still putting in work. You formed Skull Gang. Yeah. And I remember this was around 2008. I went to your studio yeah. and actually was interviewing you right around that time. We'll play Definitely. some clips from that. And I remember you had outside, you had the white Rolls Royce, Tell the him white again. Bentley. Tell him again. The white Benz, I think. Tell him again. What, what, what else am I forgetting? Was it the Corvette? It was at least Corvette. three cars. And the Corvette and the white Corvette. And the white right. Corvette. And you had it all just laid out in Jersey. Rolls Royce, Bentley. Corvette, Benz, yeah, all white yeah. too, right? All white. Before Yo Gotti, right? Before Yo Gotti. Come on, talk to him, Black. <laughs> Let him know. I remember. Yo Gotti, my man. Uh, Shout out my man Gotti. Shout out everybody. I, I seen a lot of people turn though to the, to white cars. You know what I'm saying? Just be liking niggas yep. to know I've been doing this shit heavy. You know what I'm saying? Rolls Royce. I think I was the only. I was the only nigga in New York City with a Rolls Royce. Young rap artist. Facts. No, no, you were doing it. No really rap artist had a Rolls Royce in New yeah. York City. Yeah, I wasn't seeing that type of you know wealth saying? at that Come time. On. Come on. Come yeah. on, man. Uh, okay, so so you now keep releasing music. Now rap artists got Rolls Royces. Juels might have literally been the first. Now I'm trying to really think about it. Rap artists to have a Rolls Royce. Like rap artists, not producer, yeah. not CEO. Rap artists. I'm about to really fucking look it up. You might be. I you might be. be. You no, might be. for real. I uh, really might uh, fucking be. But this just goes along with a long list of other things, you know what I'm saying? That, mm -hmm. you know, they try to act like I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas fucking know me, nigga. Oh, yeah. What's up? And, and during that time, I'm actually holding the camera. Like, if you people ask why I'm behind the camera, you remember I was at your studio holding the camera, interviewing y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't afford a cameraman back then. Yeah, it was, was gorilla oh, style. You, you came up now, Vlad. You got a whole know, motherfucking right? <laughs> facility in this joint now. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And right around that time, uh, that's when you dropped uh, Back to the Crib featuring yeah. Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately, during that time, that's when Chris Brown went through the whole Rihanna incident. It's crazy because that's what I was about to talk about. So, um, yeah, Chris Brown. Went through the shit with Rihanna. Bad situation for him. Bad time for him. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was really, I think everybody was kicking him while he was down. Everybody was kicking him while he's down. Me, decided to reach for the brother while I was. This is, I gotta understand who I am, man. I need to give Juels a lot more respect, love, and credit out here, but it's cool. Listen, reach for my boy while he was down. Everybody was kicking him. Told Def Jam. Yeah, I want to get Chris on this record, you know what I'm saying? And everybody was like, mind you, who signed to, to Def Jam along with me? Rihanna. L.A. Reid is up mm. there at the oh. delay. Oh, so it actually is a deeper situation. Yeah, it's, it's uh -huh. People okay. don't be known. Yeah, it's deep. It's deeper than rap. Always black. It's deeper than rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So look, so um, make a long story short, yeah, I get the confirmation. I tell them, of course, that I'm going to get Chris Brown to get on the record. Just to, you know, kind of... Throw that out there. Yeah, yeah, it's good, cool, cool. Can you get him. I go, I fly out there, get Chris Brown on the record. He does the record. Love Jewels, you know what I'm saying? Nobody had reached out. This is, he hadn't appeared on the record. Like I said, they've been destroying him since this Rihanna thing. Nobody, I'm like, nah, I want this, I want this to be the first record he come back on. You know what I'm saying? With me, like, boom. I don't know, man. The record seemed like it got sabotaged to me. But let me tell you, they came, which it was still wound up being a dope record, still got great response, but that was like a, that could have been a huge record. Me, Chris Brown, like could have been way huger than what it was. But Rihanna, Def Jam, Chris Brown situation, me, man in the middle, little guy. It's just, I think I just got caught in a whole bunch of stuff that just, but my thing was L.A. Reid, told me I could, I always say, I don't always say this, but I'm putting it out there. L.A. Reid told me I could do the joint. Not told me, because L.A. Reid, you can't tell me anything. Let me reword that. L.A. Reid, you know, he kind of said it was cool, like, reaching out to Chris Brown. So I'm like, because I gave him the heads up, like, because I knew it was a touchy-feely situation over there. So, mind you, I do the shit. These niggas come back to me talking about, yo, let's put Trey songs on the record. I'm like, now mind you, I ain't got no beef with Trey. Trey's my, Trey cool, shout out to Trey. Like, I just, this has nothing to do with Trey. My thing is, no though, like I, 
I already went all the way out here, flew out here, got this man on the record. So you want me to take, you want me to take Chris Brown off the record, put Trey Songz on the record, and, and then just come out with the like, I don't know who y'all were. How, I don't work like that, bro. I'll do another record with Trey Songz. We can do a record, you know what I'm saying? If y'all feel like I need to get a record with Trey at the time, you know, there's a lot of politics. So, But I'm not going to take Chris Brown off this record. Well, we don't know Joel, as you know, it's... Rihanna's on the label. We don't think LA they they're gonna support the record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We doing uh, same thing we always did. We did we want to do. I put the record out. And I mean, um, shout out to Polo the Dawn. Polo produced the record, so he kind of put some 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 energy behind it, along with the energy I put behind it. And you know, we, we still got a we still got a a, a a pretty damn good response with that record not knowingly to the public being kind of like blackballed, I would say. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, that was a great record. I remember me no, and you did an interview about that It was a monster. That was a monster. Yeah. No, it was a great record. It got played a lot in New York. Uh, I looked it up. It's got 9 million streams on Spotify still. So. No, it was a great clear, record. It was, clearly like I said, it was supposed it. to be bigger. Than, it was one of those records that was supposed to be bigger than it was. And, you know, a lot of things like that, like, you know, nothing should ever stop, but those things that I went through in my career that kind of like, you know, you go through and it's like, they just put sour taste in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? With this game and me coming in the game so early, you know, I just dealt with so much. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, I'm just saying, you know, you hear these things, you know, people just think, yo, Joel, 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 it's not that I'm lazy, it's not that I, you know, I got a studio full of music, it's just, I put a lot of time and energy in this game from when I was young. I dealt with a lot, you know what I'm saying? Besides the things that y'all see and besides it just put out music, put out music, it's like this shit come with 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 with, with other stuff that we deal with, you know what I'm saying? And you mean, along with, you know, just having families, along with, you know what I mean, kids and shit that we want to see grow up, you know what I mean? Just as much as sometimes we got to sacrifice and take the time back for our career, sometimes we got to, you know, take the time to step up and be family men and be fathers and be husbands and be the people we need to be to the people we need to be, you know, for, um, and you know, well, life, life is, a, is, is, is not a, it's not a race. It's a, it's a marathon. So, I mean, that's how I'm looking at it. I feel like I'm in the best place in my life. So I ain't, I'm God is, God is shining right now. 